Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauties World. So today I'm going to be showing you my very first synthetic wig that I'm reviewing on my channel. I'm super excited. I did a nice little hairstyle. So if you want to see this video, please make sure you stay tuned. But before we get into it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm pretty sure I'm going to butcher this name, Jordaire. This is the hair that we're going to be reviewing. It's in 1B. It's a kinky, yakky type of um, wig. That is everything that came in the package. And we're going to go ahead and pull this hair out and give it a look-see. Here it is. It looks super natural, you guys. I was shocked when I pulled the hair out. It looks like real natural human hair. But it's synthetic and I love that the lace on this one is brown It's closer to my skin tone I'm pretty sure you can ask them to do a lighter one if you need it lighter but it matched me really good and that is the construction of the wig from the inside it has the combs the drawstrings and everything so you can have a glueless look that is it straight out the box you don't really have to do too much to it I just wanted to add my little flavor, my little style to it, so I will be styling this hair a little bit further. But it does come with the baby hairs, and I wanted to show you guys side by side a natural human hair kinky wig compared to the synthetic, and you cannot tell the difference from the naked eye, like super, super like the same. <laughs> you can only tell by feeling it the difference, but by looks, it looks the same. And that is a kinky straight that I flat ironed, so that's like the same texture that it gives. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this wig. I'm gonna part it in the middle here because I wanna do some braids at the top. And it kind of speaks for itself. Make sure you um, part it to where you're not going to show the, the um, what do you call it in the back, the wefts in the back. I'm just showing you guys the good parting space, how natural the parts look, and you don't have to do any kind of plucking to it. So pretty. No bleaching, no plucking, and it looks super natural. So I'm going to try out a little bit of these stitch braids, and that's how I like to do it. This is kind of big parts, but, you know, whatever. Do smaller parts if you want it to look really nice but I'm trying to you know do it really quickly this was late at night and I was just trying to throw some braids in the hair so that's what we're doing here we're gonna do the little stitch braids When I was done with that braid, I added one of the little jewels to it just to give it a little pop, a little bit more flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and do two more braids to this hair, smaller than the first one on each side. Now that I'm done, I'm just adding a rubber band right under that jewel there and I'm putting all of them together just like that. And I think that is so pretty. Now I'm going to take a little bit more hair out to braid it down on the sides and I'm going to do this on both sides. I only had two more rubber bands so I only could do two more braids but if you have more rubber bands, I would suggest that you add more braids to the hair. It just gives it a nice beautiful look. And there it is, braids on both sides. So, so pretty. I'm really, really liking this hair, you guys. I'm really, really liking it. I'm going to add a jewel to the top of the head. You can skip that part. I just had an extra jewel, so I just put it there. It's kind of thick. You can make it smaller. <laughs> so, yes, that's what we're going to do. And I'm showing you here how I would have braided it down. If I had more rubber bands, I would have just braided it down from that top braid there on each side. Now I've applied the wig to my head and I'm ready to, you know, see how everything's going to be looking, how we're going to rock it. I did add bobby pins to the um, ear portions because it couldn't, you know, lay down flat so I used my bobby pins. And I'm going to cut the baby hairs shorter, about an inch, inch long. 
Okay, so you see that I cut that off. Um, I'm trying to see what I'm gonna do with it. I'm probably going to go ahead and use the goo. So I'm putting a little bit of the goo at the base. Then I'm gonna swoop a dee doop. Swoop dee doop dee doop. Something like that, okay? On this side. So it'll be like that. And like you guys see in the title, and as I've been stating, this hair is synthetic. And this is the first synthetic hair that I've reviewed on my channel. And I think this hair is beautiful. It feels natural. And like I showed you guys, the comparison of the real hair versus the synthetic hair. And you can't even, you won't even know the difference. Like this is real hair right here. Flat iron kinky hair compared to this wig. And I can't tell the difference. They both look the same. Now this one feels a little bit softer because it is natural hair and this is synthetic. So the only way you can tell which one is natural is if you run your fingers through it. That's the only way. Just by the eye, the neck eye, you would not know that this is synthetic hair. So this is definitely a way cheaper option than going with the natural hair. So you guys, don't ever say I ain't put you onto some game about this kinky hair. I'm really, really loving the way this one is. It's nice and full, it's light, very airy. I love the lace on this, it looks nice and natural. Didn't have to do anything to it and it looks like scalp. Look at that. Looks like scalp, honey. Um, the only thing I would've did with this wig, I would've added more braids, like I said in the video, but I'm really loving this hairstyle. I am loving this hairstyle. Really, really pretty. What do you guys think? Have you ever tried synthetic wigs? And if you did, have you ever tried the kinky one? How did it come out? How did you rock it? I'm liking it. Very pretty. So if you wanna know more about this hair, check out the link below or the description box below. And I'll have all the specs on this hair, all the information that you would need. So yeah, if you guys want to request a video, leave it in the comment section and I will definitely get it out to you. If you want to see certain hairstyles, if you want to see makeup looks, whatever you guys, if you want to see uh, decor, whatever you want to see, let me know. I'm going to start pumping out some more videos for you guys, not just hair reviews. So let me know what you guys want to see and I will get that out. And this is a glueless install. As you can see, I just put it right on and it's done. Now, a little bit on the sides here is coming up, but all you have to do is either swoop it back behind your ears or put a bobby pin. That's the only thing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click that bell to so get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.